Hey party people, well welcome back. I hope you're all out there well and safe. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really hope you're all doing well and safe. But today we're just making a bun. Bun is something we traditionally eat in Jamaica for Easter. I just got some dried fruit, um, some dried citrus peel and half a glass of water and some glacier cherries, blended them up. And then we get straight into this video and we're gonna do this. Yes, this bun is delicious by the way guys and it is vegan. If you found an ingredient that's not, let me know. But yeah, from what I know, it's vegan. Plant based butter, half a block. Just gonna have half of that, or half that maybe. Just going to jump in here guys to let you know, I've added half a cup of dark brown sugar to the mixture with the butter and let everything melt completely on a low heat, do not cook it, you do not want caramel. And then I've got this really cool mixture at the moment, I've let it cool down for a little bit and I've added the rest of my ingredients which I've put on screen. After I've done that I've left it to completely cool before I add the oil, completely cool like completely back to room temperature, you can put it in the fridge if you want to but you don't have to. And the reason for this guys is you do not want to add a hot mixture to your dry ingredients that is a big no-no it's just going to kill everything and nothing's going to go the way you want it to so please do not add a hot mixture to your dry ingredients okay guys like share subscribe and make sure you come back and highlight your girl Okay guys, I just remembered to spice bun, so we're going to add quite a few spices. We're going to add two cups of flour first, then we're going to have a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of um, cinnamon, but then we're going to have a tablespoon of mixed spice and a tablespoon of ginger, and sieve that all through, and that will be your dry ingredients. Okay guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Oh yeah, and do not forget that teaspoon of baking powder, because it will be flat, we don't want flat. Okay guys, well, we've just put all our ingredients together. I'm gonna to put it in the oven on 180 for an hour and 10 minutes. And as soon as that is finished, it's the end of this one really. But make sure you watch the rest of this video to see how mine turned out. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh baby, there it is. <laughs> okay guys, like, share, subscribe. And I did put a glaze on her. Yes, I did. It was just the agave syrup and a little bit of the caramel flavor. Put that in a bowl, mixed it together and just brushed it all over and just give it this wonderful like glaze and caramelly flavor on top. 